Hello and welcome everybody. Now that I talked about Montessori in general, I wanted to get a little bit more specific about Montessori because there are some differences between AMI and AMS. Let's start with AMI. AMI stands for Association Montessori International while AMS stands for American Montessori Society. So the big thing here is that both of these are based off of Montessori method, but the AMS side of things is more towards the, I guess I like to call it the Americanized version, um, making it more like public schools, while the international version is really authentic to what Dr. Maria Montessori really wanted uh, wanted to come about with her with her method. Like I said, AMI is really about Dr. Ma Maria Montessori's method and it really closely follows what she said was vital for a child to have. So she actually made a bunch of materials and I'll show you guys right here. Those kind of materials really help build a child's knowledge of math and literacy and basic life skills and those are used very very closely in AMI. However with AMS which was founded by Nancy McCormick Rambush even though she was AMI trained she decided that we needed a version that was more suited to kind of the American side of teaching children. So this is basically a modified Montessori method. At the school that I interviewed at, they actually did still keep the three hour work period, which I think is pretty typical for this for the AMS side, but they will have subjects like music, art, gym, technology, and possibly others as well. Now it seems like that could be a really good part, but in AMI, all those things are kind of included anyways. So AMS just kind of draws it out to be more apparent than, than say AMI does, but they do have big differences. To be recognized as an AMI school, they actually have to be through the AMI society and you can look that up at their website. I'll put it down here below. You can find an AMI certified school in your state. Now, I am a little biased because I did work at an AMI school and the guide there, she was phenomenal. I truly felt like I learned so much. She was just really, I don't know, hands down, like the most amazing guide I've ever seen. Like all schools, the education really depends on the teacher and the environment and the child themselves too. But personally, I really wanna send my kids to Montessori school. There's been a couple of stories, but I'll just tell you one um, that really, really stuck out to me was I came back to the Montessori school to visit because the staff there were all so amazing and because we had that home-like feeling at our Montessori school, I just really loved going back and seeing the kids and seeing all the staff members and just all the joy in their faces. But when I went back there, the guide had told me about a story where she had a three-year-old using a handsaw. I wish I could have seen this for myself because that is crazy. Who would have ever thought of a three-year-old using a handsaw by themselves? And it was really amazing because he made this mask. Now it wasn't like an intricate mask at all. It was a little plank of wood, but he had sawed it down to about halfway and then used a hammer to hammer down a popsicle stick and then drew some little eyes on it. But he made a mask. I mean, that's a three-year-old using a handsaw in a safe environment where the guide was watching. And I think the most amazing part about it is that the kids are able to make mistakes. They're not there to be perf perfect. They don't have any set boundaries of, okay, you need to reach this. They work at their own developmental level and I think that's amazing and that's what public school is really lacking. That we push children to go beyond what they might be capable of at their developmental level. In the school that I worked at, there was a young girl and my cooperating teacher had said if she was put in first grade, she would be the top of her class. 
but because her parents had pushed her into second grade or pushed her you know in the first grade to second grade that she was at the bottom of the class always consistently getting bad grades and she would probably unless she really like rose to the occasion she's probably going to live with that for the rest of her life always thinking that she's never good enough never getting high enough grades because developmentally she just wasn't ready to move on to second grade and if she would have stayed in first grade she would have been top of the class doing amazing the best one probably and the fact that she got pushed you know i mean think the difference in in your self-confidence between wow i'm always going to be the worst and wow i'm the best because i'm developmentally ready for all of this stuff so I don't know, that's a really hard thing for me with public schools, but with Montessori, you really move at your own pace and the guides still push you. It's not like you're just getting to run free reign and do whatever you want, but you move at your own developmental level. So when you're ready to read, those guides are gonna give you the tools that you need to be able to read or do math. And I think that's a really amazing part about the Montessori method. Thank you all so much for watching until the very end. I really appreciate all of your support. If you'd like to check out any of my past videos, please click the two video links below. And if you'd like updates on new videos, please subscribe above. Thank you again. I really, really appreciate your guys' support. You guys are amazing. Thank you.